I'm Kia ora koutou, you can hear me kia koutou tatou, who is my name. Uh, ko Lorraine, um, Lorraine Pauli Tafa, um, Noa Tumwaki Wall Stanhope Road School. Yes, kia ora and thank you very much for the invitation. My name is Lorraine, I'm, I'm the principal of Stanhope Road School. Well, it's really important for the students to understand what jobs you have, so our students understand there's actually career in this, yes. their careers in this sort of mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have our st students <coughs> thinking that you guys are the people that actually go and swim out in the sea and save people. There's a whole lot of other stuff that go around water safety, so that's really important. My job today is, I wanted to talk to you about the school-wide approach that happens with inquiry that leads to this. So it's not just one class doing one thing and coming up with it, it's a whole school philosophy approach and the big beliefs that go around the unit of work. These children started this in term one and are still working on it, so it doesn't end. Although, although we're working on politics at the moment, the work in lots of classes are still working on their safety impact projects. So um, and every class might come up with something different. It's an example of what the curriculum leaders would go away and plan and what the, the base of the unit is around. So what we do is, we first come up with a really good inquiry question. The question, what is the safer journey, the question is supposed to lead to other questions for teachers, children and stuff. So it's broad enough and it's wide enough to inquire into. We never define where the inquiry loop ends. Mm. Students define that and students drive that, much to the dismay of some teachers. That's, that's really important that, that that's that philosophy. And then we have um, learning areas that we target through the content. Yeah? But the context can be anything. Mm. So we're driving the context to be anything. So um, there were these two things, um, technological practice and healthy communities environments. Then what happens is, apart from the small curriculum achievement objectives that we know we will teach to, there are these big wide concepts that the school um, look to towards the end of the unit to see have we met these. And so there's things like children being able to recognise risks. So it's not, it's not being prescriptive mm -hmm. in what we teach the kids, it's being have a really big framework and children work through their inquiry and we, know, we don't actually teach directly to these concepts. We teach to the inquiry and we know that these concepts will be dealt with in, in the matter of um, how the learning happens. So those are the big concepts. So still as a curriculum leaders we do all that sort of stuff. And then obviously we work on key competency focuses. Then what drops out of that is, is what you'll hear from, from this group here. And we would launch this with staff. We would sit down with the whole staff, our curriculum leaders, and we'd launch it to make sure we have the, all the teachers have the correct framework to work with them, and they're, they're, they're not teaching health, they're actually teaching to a technological outcome. The content we taught was not safety, it was how do we, how do we produce a technological outcome or improve a technological system already existing to improve, to make our journey safer. So some students looked at um, crossings well, safety, yeah. and what, what yeah. was on their way to school mm -hmm. and what we could make it safer. Yeah. Some students looked at parking and some classes have had a real big impact on parents because they've changed all the parking behaviour. Yeah. That, was their, that was their impact project. The juniors looked at their classrooms and realising we don't have good evacuation signage. So they came up with a new technological mm -hmm. vision about them. So it's, we, we weren't teaching safety, but as a matter of teaching technological outcomes, yeah. the children had to investigate safety. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we would, we'd teach directly to safety and do something, but we hadn't covered. So that's, that's sort of how it rolls that helps. School. That's good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. The students will tell you the inquiry that resulted to just this class, this is the only class that came up with this <coughs> technological result. Our class looked at hazards that cause people to drink. We looked at three articles about people getting stuck in a room. We found out that some drummings happen when someone tried to save someone else in the room. This happened at Mahia, Pukahina and Hotwater Beach. We read about this in the New Zealand Herald. After we looked at what happened on, at those beaches, we went on your website. Um, how do we raise awareness? We surveyed Team 2 and we also looked at graphs on drownings. We looked at the age groups of drownings to see what, where we can do it. Then we look at how and where they drowning, they were mostly 
droning and beaches and droning and like swimming. We got the big ideas from surveys, from the surveys. Like only a couple of people knew what a rip what is. And they didn't know how to identify a rip and no one knew the no before you go rules. We were shocked when there was us. Now we knew our target audience was Team 1 and Team 2 because we're only a few years away from the age of 15 to 24. Eight to one, eight four, tied in 2013, box swimming and beach at beaches. Only because someone didn't know what a grip looked like. And they didn't know what to do if they got in a grip. It was the most important information our target audience was First, we looked at some YouTube clips. Then we had to identify them. Then we went on websites and we found out the low before you go rules. After that, the class found out about rips and how to get out of a rip. The law before your goals are be prepared, know your limits, watch for yourself and others, and be aware of dangers. The ways to identify a rip, the, the first one is look for a calm patch in the waves, and look for crisscross waves. Also look for dirty or frothy water. Finally, we looked at, at a at rib signs, but there are no rib signs at all in the beach, beaches in Auckland. Then we made our signs. We all designed our own ones, and then we voted for the best rib sign. How do we know we have been successful? We partnered up with our computer partners and chose the part we were going to write about. We had to choose from the storyboard and the plan which was mentioned before. After we added information to our chosen part and wrote it in our topic books, Ms. Burrell helped us publish it and made it into a book. Then we presented it to the team two children and the whole school. Mrs. Burrell showed the book to Ms. Parkinson, Mrs. Burrell's friend, and she said it was unbelievable. She photocopied, copied and laminated and bound the book for each person in the class who wanted a copy. Our final question is how do we know we have been successful? We thought we have been successful because we got you guys wanting our book. And people were amazed when they saw it. Our school audience and families thought it was cool, and we got the message true to people. The girls, they're, saying, they're telling that you're going to pay out to sea, and there's a rip in between. Yep. Fetch. And what about this side areas? What they tell you to do? How do you see it? What do they They tell you to like, go to the side, just wait there, and to raise your right hand up. Okay. And the yellow symbols at the top? Warning. 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 So that's warning. So You've got the clear water for the rip current, which is great. You've got them swimming out to the side, parallel to the beach, which is how we want to encourage people. And you've got it not going all the way to Australia. <laughs> so you have got the where the waves start, the rip will slow down and it will end. So you've got the head of the rip in the right place. The breaking waves or the waves yes. yeah. either, either side, either side of it. Yeah. So, yes. So, so if we get to put the beach in? The beach would be right at the bottom yeah. by your toes. Yeah. Yes. yes. We, we looked for rip signs, just a generic rip sign and found absolutely nothing. So we decided that we would um, design our own rip signs that would give a message. And this was voted as the best one that came out. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It also links clearly to the key competency using text, language and symbols. Mm -hmm. so yeah. You can't read yes. what key, yes. can't read English. Yeah. Yes. What's the, yeah. Yeah. the connection with technology. Um, thank you very much, Rita. How, how did that... How did that work? You mentioned via, I think, you know, talk to our technology partners or something like that? No, basically, um, the curriculum leaders of the school always are looking to ensure that we provide the students full scope of the curriculum. We hadn't done technology. We knew, as we knew as a matter of review at the end of last year, we had to address safety, and we knew we wanted to do it at the beginning of the year, with kids coming to school, safe, water safety, all that sort of stuff. But we had to write it in a, into a te technological outcome plan, because we hadn't covered technology. Right. That was it. Yeah, so okay. they're, they're talking about working in partners. So basically, oh, we, these partners. Yeah, um, yeah. Basically, before we actually even got in, anywhere near the pot, we just had like a massive storyboard. Yeah. And we just spent ages actually trying to work out the message. But can I show you the survey? Because 
Until we did this, we had no idea actually where we were going on this. But the students realised that they had to survey. Yes. That's part of the inquiry. Okay. So what's the question we're going to ask? What's the question we need to ask? Where's the information? How do we get the information? It's all inquiry. Yep. So I just wanted to say that probably any one of these um, questions, we could have followed that line of inquiry. Yes. So we're, when we did the survey, we kind of knew what we were looking for, but Actually, we were still, you know, a little bit blind. Yeah. And then once we did this, we started to go, oh my gosh. What were you most shocked by? Kenneth, can I answer this? Kenneth. Our results, because for some questions out of 93, Students. most of them were in the bad answer, not the good answer. Oh, right. That's so a high percentage. Do you know how to identify a rip? Out of 93, only 25 did. In my class of um, 26 at the time, I had only one boy mm -hmm. who knew one way of identifying a rope. Mm -hmm. And he got it right. But only one, mm -hmm. one way. So, you know, here you have a major problem. People just mm -hmm. really have no idea what we're talking about. No. Mm -hmm. How much time do you spend in the water? Learning things like how to float. Traditionally, term four should be water safety, and term one would be skills. Right. Mm -hmm. Learning how to swim. Term four would be like jump with your clothes, float, you know, all that other stuff. Okay. The book mm -hmm. has been circulated just amongst my class. Mm -hmm. okay. And obviously, gone home. To yes. Yes. We're always um, concerned that schools don't just go and use it; they understand the learning that we around. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You have to kind of understand that. This was just like months and months. We actually rolled it into um, two to to just get it finished. But that's important for learners. Yes. Uh, just because the term ends doesn't mm. mean the learning. Yeah. So yeah. we we yeah. have inquiries always cross crossing in the school. What was the hardest part of this inquiry? Getting the information and like putting it all together. And, and which part did you enjoy the most? But something, something that these kids can do, and they know they have a, a, a voice in the school. If they said, must we want to take the school van out and go and visit Beats and, and, film, and film rips and make a film that goes with our book, you know? Mm -hmm. They can keep doing that sort yeah. of stuff.